my friends, let's get some love messages from your person. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with me. <laughs> um, maybe your person is feeling very lovey towards you. Maybe they're feeling, you know, heart open. It's interesting because I'm, I am, I just got this green sweater and I felt like wearing it for the reading. So maybe this person, I don't know what this mood is but it feels like they're very excited and heart open energy. So let's see what they want to say. Interesting. Um, I wasn't feeling that until um, I hit record and then I was just overcome with like love and giggles. So interesting. <laughs> um, we have age difference. So you and this person could, there could be an age difference. There could be quite a bit of an age difference is what I'm hearing. Instant cosmic connection, similar upbringing or dating history, difference in age, but maturity level is almost the same. Interesting. I know there is a huge age gap between us, and some may even object because of that. However, we are so similar in many ways, regardless of our differences. So this could have been someone who, you know, in the past, this could have been someone who made a big deal about, blah, 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 <laughs> big deal about this age difference. They could have you know, been embarrassed about it. Um, you could have been embarrassed about it. Um, age difference can be a blockage in connections. Um, anyway, very interesting. So this person is thinking about this. We do have 62. So maybe, you know, I don't know why I'm hearing this. Maybe this person is 26 um, and you're 62 um, or vice versa. Take it as it resonates. Um, but yeah, interesting. So let's see what this person wants to say. That one's face down, so I'm going to get another one. All right, we have Dark Knight of the Soul. Interesting. Um, fulfilled, completion or achievement, feeling happy and satisfied with one's life, going after what you want and getting what you want out of life. When I'm with you, I feel complete. I feel as if I've won the best prize of all. You're exactly what I need and want in my life. So this person is realizing that you're their wish fulfillment um, with that energy. And we have Libra. So you could be dealing with the Libra. Romantic, charming. Remember when I started this reading, I was all like, woo, <laughs> romantic, charming. So they could be, you know, 88, they could be, um, the 8-8 eight, eight portal could have been significant, but this could be someone who's, you know, planning to come in and be quite charismatic with you, quite charming, bring a romantic offer to you. I know I acted as if I couldn't make up my mind about our relationship, but it was really because I was scared, scared of hurting you or you hurting me or the age. Remember that age gap? We have watching creates accounts to stay up to date, pretends not to care, but becomes obsessive, late nights, scrolling on social media platforms. So this is someone who's watching you and, you know, feeling quite attracted to you, feeling quite loving energy towards you is what I'm hearing, feeling. Even if I'm gone, I'm still connected to you in some way. I can't cut you off completely, but I am afraid to return. My only interaction with you is through your social media. I miss you. Interesting. We have cycles here. We keep replaying the same story over and over again, and it never ends. When are we going to do better so that we can be better? So it feels like this is someone who, you know, you were stuck in a cycle with, a repetitive cycle with. And if you weren't, then this could be, you know, I feel like it could be that, you keep getting dealt this same cycle in a different person. So, you know, maybe you keep attracting the same type of person. Um, we have dysfunctional, unstable, hurtful, same scenarios keep occurring, but unable to learn necessary lessons, predictable, repetitive cycle of breaking up and getting back together again. So on again, off again, inconsistency, you know, um, and then we had dark night of the soul. So your person could be, you know, going through an awakening here. You could have went through a dark night of the soul because of this person or because of this connection. I'm fighting my demons and re-examining my actions. 
It is life-altering and also extremely painful. At times I fight against the changes, but I know it must happen for me to evolve. And what's interesting is this little, it's this little like space scene and there's like a help sign. So your person could feel like reaching out to you, you know, especially the way this reading started. Um, let's keep going. New beginnings. Yep. Open heart. We have courage. Willingness to confront. Oh, interesting. Willingness to confront agony, pain, danger, uncertainty, or intimidation. Strength to venture, persevere, and withstand danger, fear, or difficulty. So it feels like this person is getting ready to, you know, fight for this. I don't care what it takes, how long it takes, who I upset. I am going to return to you one way or another. Oh my gosh. Determined. I'm seeing my Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving card in the deck, but the most determined. Um, this is someone who's determined to come back to you, um, no matter what anybody says. We have new beginnings. A fresh start with an open mind, knowing where you lacked in the past and using that to create success. Allowing yourself to accept changes that might bring good things to you. I have to say, this is beautiful energy. We need to let go of our issues and work through our struggles by recognizing what went wrong and how we played a part in it. I love you too much to let you go. Let's start anew. And we have intuition, light bulb moment of realization, direct knowledge from source without rational thought, a deep knowing and understanding without evidence. So it's like this person's intuition is finally getting through to them. Finally getting through to them. I'm hearing finally. <laughs> it dawned on me that why I feel so drawn to you and why our connection is so intense and scary. I'm starting to understand my fears and my overwhelming emotions towards you. Interesting. Let's just get a few more messages from your person. What do they want you to know? What does this person want you to know? What does Dark Knight of the Soul came out? Yes, confirmation. That's what we needed. We needed confirmation. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, we have, I wasn't always there when you needed me the most. Instead of trying to comfort you, I would jump ship because I couldn't deal with my own emotions, let alone yours. So this could have been someone who struggled with empathy, who struggled with like maybe their emotions were turned off, like maybe they struggled with emotions, maybe they struggled, you know, maybe if you were upset and you cried to them, maybe they reacted and like took it as, um, like took it as, instead of comforting you, they just pushed you away or like avoided you. Um, we also have fall, so S September 22nd to December 21st. Um, so it feels like something could be happening during fall, September 22nd. That's coming up quick, my friends. And we do have confirmation of that dark night of the soul. I'm fighting my demons and re-examining my actions. It is life-altering and also extremely painful. At times I fight against the changes, but I know it must happen for me to evolve. And it's opening up this person's heart space. Um, we have self-love. Learning how to forgive oneself, healing their inner child with shadow work, recognizing the triggers that have affected them, from, prevented them from moving forward. I've been working on my self-worth, heart, and I am recognizing the issues that have been holding me back. I'm trying to heal myself by loving myself first. And that's what you want. You want this person to love themselves first before, before they come waltzing back in. Um, because if they don't love themselves, then it's never going to work. Um, that cycle will repeat is what I'm hearing. So let's get some other cards. <laughs> so. I want to see how this person or what this person wants to say to you. I'm not going to look strength right away. Remember that strength card? Beautiful. Gathering the strength to come back towards you. This person could, you know, be coming through saying they're, you know, they could be worried about approaching you. 
Um, anyway, I'm actually not going to get too nosy. Maybe I will. I don't know. <laughs> but I want to see what this person wants to say to you. That's basically what I'm asking. So what do they want you to know? Very interesting. We have the devil in reverse and the wheel of fortune and the five of wands. So it feels like this person, remember that, that cycle, remember that cycle card. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Because I think that this, this applies wheel of fortune, five of wands, devil in reverse. This person wants you to know they're coming out of this energy devil in reverse. They're releasing some of those, you know, traits that created this conflict that created this toxic cycle um, remember dysfunctional unstable hurtful toxic same scenarios keep occurring but unable to learn necessary lessons devil energy and now it's in reverse so this is someone who's learn learning their lesson this time um, very interesting and it's this card came out, when are we going to do better so we can be better? And your person has started to be better. And I'm wondering, the way that mirroring works, I'm wondering if you detached yourself from this person with that devil in reverse. I'm wondering if you detached codependency, if you released this, if you surrendered, if you've been doing your healing and your shadow work. That's why this person is in this energy, you know, is because you're mirroring each other. Anyway, very interesting. So let's see what else this person wants you to know. I feel like this person was acting from a very shadowy place and they know it. We have nine of swords, so they do have fear. Interesting. They have fear about coming towards you. We have the hermit. Um, so, oh, I, I, was gonna, I was going to try and mention more signs. Um, so we have Virgo energy, we have Capricorn, we have um, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Anyway, Virgo, did I say Virgo? Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I think I already said that. Um, anyway, this person wants to come towards you, but they're afraid. You know, they still have fear about coming towards you and they're working through it. I feel like this is someone who's working on releasing their fear, devil in reverse. I feel like this person wants you to know that they lose sleep over you, that they spend a lot of time thinking about you. Um, you know, the nine of swords is also the energy of, I feel like this person spends a lot of time thinking that you're the one that got away, you know? I don't think that they think about the other people that got away, but they think about you. And this person doing a lot of soul searching right now, hermit energy, they're very much, you know, I'm actually hearing, you know, that energy of send me loving energy um, from their higher self, because maybe they could use it. This is someone who's worried about coming out of hermit energy towards you. Look, we've got the two of wands. So this is someone who is planning how to come towards you and the eight of wands. So this is someone who's, you know, in their head about how to approach you. Have they changed enough to come in? Um, interesting. Channeled message from your person. I feel like they didn't, I feel like they think a lot about the anxiety they caused you. Um, this person could also be realizing that maybe you felt like they were playing, you know, Mind games with you a little. We have the hanged man and judgment and the sun. Oh my gosh. So remember that dark night of the soul and the fool. So this is someone who can see the light. You know, we have judgment and hanged man. So this person wants you to know that in separation, in pulling their energy back or being removed from the situation, um, they've had an awakening. They've had a realization about this connection. This is someone who, you know, I feel like maybe made the wrong choice. This is someone who has, has realized what this connection means. We have the sun here. So this is someone I feel this energy is like they know you're who they want. They know 
They've seen the error of their ways. They know what they need to do to make things right. Um, it's really weird. I'm seeing, I'm hearing Frodo where he's saying, I know what I must do, but do I have the courage to do it? Um, that's what I'm, that's what I'm hearing. It's like this person, you know, just wants to come rushing towards you. Um, but they, they're worried about, you know, how much damage they've done here is what I'm hearing. Um, I can't, I can't not be nosy. I need to see, I need to see how they're feeling about you. I need to. <laughs> okay. The star. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hope. They have hope for this. Um, they, you know, haven't been able to let you go. They're feeling this longing for you. I'm hearing we have the queen of cups. See, spirit wanted me to get nosy. Did you see how fast that card came flying out? Spirit was ready. Um, so yeah, this is someone who feels drawn to your energy. They could be watching you right now, especially if you're in the spotlight. Um, queen of cups this is someone who feels, remember I said heart, like, oh, love. Like that's how I was feeling when I hit record. And that's exactly how this person is feeling about you. You know, their heart, they're listening to their intuition when it comes to this connection now. With the Queen of Cups, this is someone who feels an intuitive connection with you. A lot of love for you. Oh my goodness, a lot of love. We have Nine of Cups on the bottom. I told you. I told you when I hit... Oh, this is beautiful. I told you when I hit record. I told you I felt like just love. <laughs> So this is someone who needs to communicate with you because I feel like I'm going to have a coughing fit. I might have to pause it. Um, and Knight of Pentacles, remember, determined. Determined to come back towards you. Determined. Knight of Pentacles, the most, the slowest moving one, but the most determined. I'm um, sorry, I should be showing you this Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful. So determined to come back towards you. Beautiful. Let's just see what action they're planning on taking. <laughs> what action will you take? Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> beautiful. A beautiful offer. Ace of Wands. Let me just get one more. Ten of Cups. <laughs> strength oh my goodness cultivating a strong relationship with you wanting to cultivate a strong relationship with you wanting to strengthen your bond look at that having the courage to come towards you working up the guts um this is beautiful you've got for the action they're going to take we've got the ace of pentacles a solid offer a new beginning fresh start We've got the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands coming out. So this is someone who wants to reveal something to you. This is someone who's, like I said, this is someone who's listening to their intuition now. And this is someone who wants to take action towards you. They're planning this action. That's what I said. Two of Wands. They're already planning this. You've got two Aces here. Beautiful. And then we've, whew, we've got the Ten of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment and happiness. It's happy families. Look at that. Beautiful. That's so nice. That's so nice. What advice do you need about this person? What advice do you need about this person? We have the lovers. Come on now. <laughs> what advice do you need? This is amazing. I gotta... Okay. We've got the moon in reverse and the empress, which... Stay in your divine feminine energy, my friend. Um, your advice, moon in reverse, is that something is about to come to light. Something is about to be revealed to you. Um, the end of confusion, clarity, um, that is amazing. And we've got the Empress. So I'm going to talk about that one and death and rebirth. Beautiful. So sit in your feminine energy, my friend. Don't change a thing. You keep being that empress, you know, knowing your worth, attracting in. Whatever you, you are doing is working. And the lovers here. So this person is going to come towards you with a love offer. With the moon in reverse. That's someone coming out of darkness. That's clarity. 
um, and the lovers. That's a love offer, making a choice. Look, it's so nice. I love it. The minute I hit record, I was just like, love, <laughs> which actually hasn't happened to me in a little while. So that is interesting. So I'm just going to get you a few more cards. Hang on. I'm just going to lean out for a minute <laughs> while I grab this deck. I just want to see, I just want to see what comes out of this deck karmic partner interference so there could have been a karmic partner involved or just karmic interference it doesn't have to be a person take it as it resonates i keep looking it was it was easier to lie to you than tell you the truth i wish i could take it all back this isn't over you haven't heard the last of me we have unfinished business I'm learning how to love myself now thanks to you. And that's what we need them to do is love themselves before they come back. I'm planning a romantic date. Can we chill? Netflix like old times. I want to cook for you. Planning a romantic date. I keep looking at your pics and not to mention the videos we made. I will never delete them. So this is someone who's looking at, you know, maybe you have, maybe you do have videos that you made together or just videos that you took of each other. Maybe you, you know, maybe you had like a long distance relationship and you have videos that you sent back and forth. Karmic partner interference. I look at my phone every day hoping I'll see a message from you. Remember, your advice, stay in Empress energy. Do not chase. Do not chase. Do not chase. I'm tired of the silent treatment. Can I just explain why I'm saying do not chase? Because think about that dark night of the soul card, okay? Imagine if this person was just about to have a dark night of the soul, was just about to like, they've missed you enough to the point where, and they've seen enough signs and synchronicities and they've learned that karmic lesson and they're like on the cusp of that awakening and then you reach out before that awakening happen, happens, before that light bulb goes off. It resets the cycle. Does that make sense? So there's a very strong message here about sitting in Empress energy and not chasing this person. Because what's going on right now with this person is pulling, not pulling them, it's aligning them with you. And if you're to reach out right now... You could throw that out of alignment. Does that make sense? You could delay that. Um, just leave the cake in the oven. <laughs> just leave it in there. Just let it cook. <laughs> I'm tired of the silent treatment. I want to sit down and talk about this once and for all. This is what I mean. They're almost hitting their break. I think they've already hit their breaking point. Um, I'm talking really quick. So I'm not sure if your person talks really quick um, or they just have a lot they want to say to you. I didn't feel like I was on your level. I'm very insecure. So this person is in self-love right now, which is good. I'm not happy in my current situation. I'm miserable without you. I ghosted you because it was getting too intense. I don't let people in my life easily because I have trust issues. Anyway, my friends, that was your channeled message from your person. How nice. They're in a very lovey mood today. Anyway, I'm sending you lots of love and light, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.